So we have a very interesting announcement. OpenAI announces a leadership transition, or AKA, Sam Altman was just fired from OpenAI. This is largely one of the most unexpected developments that we've heard over the last couple of months, especially with the AI space moving quickly and dynamically, this was something that we did not expect whatsoever. This is because it was only around two weeks ago that at OpenAI's Dev Day, we saw Sam Altman on stage with Satya Nadella in seemingly a great relationship as the CEO of OpenAI, and they were both looking forward to pushing the company towards AGI. So what exactly has happened and why has Sam Altman been fired? Let's get into absolutely everything with this breaking story. So it seems that first of all, this decision is very abrupt because as you can see right here, it says November the 17th, 2023, they're announcing a leadership transition. Chief Technology Officer Mira Marati appointed interim CEO to lead OpenAI and Sam Altman departs the company. But they've also added search process underway to identify a permanent successor. So what we can see here is that clearly Mira Marati is appointed the interim CEO. Interim just meaning that as for now, she's going to be the CEO. But it doesn't look like she's going to be the CEO forever because they're trying to look for someone to replace Sam Altman. Now, we're not sure who that's going to be because OpenAI has had some clear changes in the last couple of days. And I'm going to be talking about that in a moment because there was some information that on first glance, you may have ignored it. But looking back, the writing may have been on the wall. Now, you can also see that it says effective immediately. And that essentially means that this decision was definitely very quick. It wasn't something that was done over a course of a couple of months. So it says Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board no longer has the confidence in his ability to continue leading OpenAI. So it seems that there was some kind of internal conflict or maybe something happened which forced the board to get rid of Sam Altman. It's important at these times not to spread rumors or fake news because the truth is we currently don't know the exact reason. The only information we do have is what they're giving us and they're saying that he wasn't consistently candid in his communications with the board. And it's deliberately a vague reason because I don't think they want to give us the real reason, whatever it may be. What's also interesting is that it says OpenAI was deliberately structured to advance our mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity. The board remains fully committed to serving the mission. We are grateful for Sam's many contributions to the founding and growth of OpenAI. At the same time, we believe new leadership is necessary as we move forward. As the leader of the company's research product and safety functions, Mira is exceptionally qualified to step in the role of interim CEO. And we have the utmost confidence in her ability to lead OpenAI during this transition period. Now, what I do find interesting is that Sam Altman is a very unique individual. Replacing him as the CEO isn't going to be easy by any means. This is because Sam Altman has a huge role within the tech industry. He's recognized as an influential thinker and a leader within the tech industry and has insights and foresights into the future of technology. And Altman actually played a pivotal role in mentoring budding entrepreneurs at Y Combinator. And they actually managed to nurture several successful startups that significantly impacted the tech landscape. Now, what's also interesting is that Sam Altman has consistently been an advocate for the responsible development and use of AI. And his views have always been that AI should be developed to benefit humanity and his work clearly reflects that. Now, what's also interesting is that Sam Altman actually co-founded OpenAI in 2015 along with other prominent figures like Elon Musk. And initially, they envisioned a research organization dedicated to ensuring AGI and making sure that not only AGI, but that it would be developed safely and distributed globally. So did that change? Is that the reason why he was fired? We don't know. And what was also interesting was that Sam Altman did play a crucial role in transitioning OpenAI from a non-profit to a capped profit model, enabling it to scale up its research while adhering to its core ethical principles. Which means that Sam Altman's resume is quite stacked, meaning that he's achieved a significant amount of things that many other entrepreneurs haven't. So replacing Sam Altman is not going to be an easy task. Now, one of the main questions that everybody is now going to have is, is this going to impact OpenAI? Is this going to impact what they do and the kind of products they are going to be developing? 
how instrumental was Sam Altman to the role of many of the decisions that OpenAI has made. From what we've seen so far in a statement on the company's website, it doesn't seem like they're moving things in a different direction. It seems like they're going to be continuing to move towards their goal of AGI. Now, if you want to know who the board of directors are, they clearly state that the board of directors consists of OpenAI chief scientist Ilya Sutskiver, independent directors Cora CEO Adam D'Angelo, technology entrepreneur Tasha McCauley, and Georgetown Center for Security and Emerging Technologies, Helen Toner. And as a part of this transition, which I found to be very interesting, Greg Brockman will be stepping down as the chairman of the board and will remain in his role at the company reporting to the CEO. They also stated that the majority of the board is independent and the independent directors do not hold equity in OpenAI. While the company has experienced dramatic growth, it remains the fundamental governance responsibility of the board to advance OpenAI's mission and preserve the principles of its charter. So with that statement, the board structure at OpenAI characterized by a majority of independent directors without equity suggests a governance model that prioritizes the company's mission and ethical charter over financial incentives. This model supports decision making that aligns with the long term objectives and ethical considerations of the organization rather than personal financial interests of the board members. So one of the things I wanted to show you was a tweet from Jimmy Apples. Now, so those of you who are unaware of who Jimmy Apples is or what this Twitter account is, it's essentially an account that it has some inside information at OpenAI. But check out this tweet on the 25th of October, 2023. He said, there's been a vibe change at OpenAI and we risk losing some key ride or die OpenAI employees. So this was tweeted around about a month or so ago. And that means that this person had foresight into the fact that OpenAI was undergoing potentially some key changes. And today he said the vibes were clearly off, LOL. And this tweet has definitely been seen a number of times. So was there something brewing earlier on in the company that we could have seen. I mean, it's very hard to say because companies like that don't release any information whatsoever. Now, one of the key questions that we do have is where is Sam Altman going to go? We know that he had a very integral part in creating OpenAI with Elon Musk, but now it seems that he's going to be a free agent. And we know that the AI space is so competitive with OpenAI offering Google AI researchers around $10 million just to simply work at their company, which means that Sam Altman could be going to another AI company. Many people are now speculating that Sam Altman might go to XAI's company, but that's probably not going to happen. You see, a couple of other days ago, this actually happened, okay? So there was this very interesting interaction between Elon Musk and Sam Altman that I'm not sure it's going to bold well in terms of Sam Altman going to X.AI. So we know that Elon Musk created the company X.AI and they made the large language model Grok. If you haven't heard about Grok, you can check out our recent video, but Grok is essentially an LLM that is basically humorous. It's more realistic and it doesn't hold back on any statements. But this is interesting, okay? Sam Altman tweeted on November the 10th, 2023, that GPTs can save a lot of effort. And he was essentially referring to the fact that you can essentially make a version of Grok using ChatGPT's new feature, GPTs. And you can see that he made this thing right here, which is a Grok. And it says, I told jokes like your dad's dad. And essentially, he's basically making fun of Elon Musk's model by saying that you guys worked a couple of months to make this model, but look at what we did in just a couple of seconds with our state-of-the-art language model. Then, of course, Elon Musk didn't hold back and Elon Musk responded. He said, GPT-4, more like GPT-snore. When it comes to humor, GPT-4 is about as funny as a screen door on a submarine. Humor is clearly banned at OpenAI, just like the many other subjects it censors. That's why it couldn't tell a joke if it had a goddamn instruction manual. It's like a comedian with a stick so far up its, it can't taste the bar. Rock roasting GPT-4. So there was clearly a bit of a back and forth. I'm not sure if this was playful or if there was some bad blood here, but it's clear that then, of course, you can see that literally as I was rendering this video, Sam Altman tweeted, I loved my time at OpenAI. It was transformative for me personally and hopefully the world a little bit. Most of all, I loved working with such talented people. I will have more to say about what's next later. So it's clear that Sam Altman is going to be doing something, but we aren't sure if it's AI related, if it's going to be in the same industry 
or if he's just going to make a statement about why he left OpenAI. That will all be revealed likely within the coming week, so stay tuned.